right? Ah, what happened? <laughs> uh -huh. What happened, huh? Hey, you get a lot of cool stuff. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Hey, we are live on Sunday morning. It's streaming Sundays uh, from Tortoise Land here in Los Angeles, California. Right? Hey, is my mic on? Does this thing work? What was that commercial? This thing work? This thing on? Is it working? It is. Please tell us if it's not working, everybody. Okay? If you're online, please tell us who you are. Right? Oh, Manny, can you get Punk out of that? You know, you know, Punk. Right? He's in the he's in the first pen after the kitchen. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Hey, my name's Kevin. I'm the Toys Guy. If you're new to our live streams or you're new to uh, to me, uh, welcome. Um, you know, we are a nonprofit 501c3. You don't know, okay? Last year we we got that status. I've been raising, rehoming, uh, loving on tortoises for 20 plus years, right? Piper, come here. Come here, young lady. Okay. And, and, and we work here. Who do we work with? We work with, with uh, Sweet Piper, right? And we'll probably get Rocky out, don't you think? Right. Okay, so Sweet Piper and Cray Cray Rocky. Um, are my sidekicks, okay? They're my sidekicks, and uh, and and without them, I'd be lonely, and uh, the tortoises would be lonely. Hey, Tr Tracy Wells, check it out. Go take a look, Suzanne. Okay, go take a look. Who's this, Tracy Wells? No, sir. No. Sounds. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Hey, Tracy, the sound should be here. Can you hear me, Trace? Can you see what they say, Susan? Hey, can can you guys hear me? Because this says the mic is on. Okay. This says, can you guys hear me? All right. Huh? Okay. All right. But you but you guys let me know if you can hear me, okay? All righty. Hey, Manny, too. Do you want to put the put the put the buckets out? These guys and line them up that way. So what are the tables for? Oh, hey, what are the tables for? Okay, first off, everybody. Uh, anyways, we want to say hi. So, you know, if you're new to it, we are a nonprofit 501c3 tortoise. What's that? Sound is on. Woo! Thanks. Hey, everybody. Tell us if the sound's off or whatever. We got these mics and they're pretty good, but sometimes they go out. Uh, the Wi Fi goes out or whatever, right? So, this is Punk, and Punk is a Mediterranean tortoise. He's one of the 50. Cat? No way. Hi. Hey. Um, one, one of the 50 plus tortoises here, okay? And they all have special stories. And uh, and this guy's going to come out with his story soon because it's really cool how he came here. Like I said, celebrity tortoise. Patricia? Patricia. I want to say, as always, like everybody here that's watching, I thank you and I appreciate you so much. I have not gotten back to anybody about, about comments, about emails. You have given nothing but love and support, okay? My world was torn upside down. You guys. Huh? Yeah, Thank right? You. What's that? Cat from New York. Cat from New York. Okay. Love you. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. So, Punk's going to go down. The sun's coming out. Okay. So, and we got to catch up on some things. We have about 20 minutes. Suzanne is super awesome to help, uh, help like she does. Manny, and, and Manny lately, Manny's brother, Hector, if you're from Boston, Hector and Lara. So, what's going on here? What's with this hole? What's with this hole? So who's been digging? So guess what? And, and a relief that is not digging for eggs. Thank God. Those guys go and uh, and toss them out and take a, take a look over here. Oh, oh here, we'll just stay. Kevin takes to take a breath. <gasps> okay, Manny's putting out what's cool. The sun's coming up. Cakes on the griddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Remember that, John Denver? No. Oh my God. Okay, so the sun's coming out. So these guys are helping. Couldn't do anything I without it. Thank you. We're going to talk about something really huge in a minute, everybody. Okay, so this is pretty cool because what's going on? Well, thank God. This is where, you know, we've, we, we built this because Shy Girl, Shy Girl and Lumpy, Lumpy laid an egg, everybody. It's in that incubator right there. 
Do you know that? Oh, we know. Open it up. Go in there. Open. Up. Look in the back of the right. And Manny, it's this big. Okay. Lumpy. Who's lumpy? Check out the video. Okay. It's the featured video right now. Okay. It came out uh, a week ago, and it's awesome. It's 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 Lumpy's life story. Okay. So we built this mound here because Lumpy or and Shy Girl didn't want to lay eggs over there anymore okay so this is where they laid them so i'm so happy to say this hole if you can tell it's not like a nest hole it's digger you guys know digger digger's born here four years ago digger loves to dig and the last couple of years digger's been more interested and in just chilling and walking around and stuff and loves hanging out over there it's pretty cool but digger yesterday because the sun's not warm digger's like back to digging right she's a kick and thankfully she's not laying eggs because there's no males around after the whole thing with shy girl and shell and shelly you know shy girl laid 134 eggs everybody 134 eggs over a 30 week period so there's more on all that on the video so please check them out right okay so this guy's you know tortoises are cold-blooded right did you see the egg Come here, right? Come here, right? Come here. I want to introduce you guys to Manny. Say, okay. So tortoises are cold blooded, right? Some people, right? And so, and so they come out early, huh? They come come out early and chill and soak in the sun, right? Okay. And then he's gonna get nasty and go smack everybody, right? So that's from dig. Wait, wait, wait. I want to say. I just wanted to. I want to say, you guys. Uh, by now, if you've been watching, you know Manny, right? He's uh, super awesome, right? And he takes over the live stream from Suzanne at about 9 30, 40, because we do we go to tick, we go to TikTok too. TikTok. Okay. All right. So here, here's what I, I want to talk to you all about. So yeah, Manny, it would be great too. You want to get the, the box turtles right there. Okay. The, there's five of them, right? Baby yeah. green. Okay. And uh, and let's put them in this one. Okay. Let's put them in this one. So we 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 get the tortoises out. They don't stay in the pens, you know, but we haven't been able to because of the rain and extreme cold and everything. Okay, so I, I got to share something with you all. And uh, I'm going to try not to cry. Um, we came out with a video yesterday. Let's see who you got. Who you got? We'll put them in here. There's that box still. So I'm going to focus now, okay? Because this is this is um, Drop Dead Serious, and Suzanne just learned, and Manny just learned. So, oh, it's hard. Baby shark. He didn't make it. Okay. He did not make it. Um, I couldn't tell anybody about uh, 12 weeks, 12 weeks, about 15 days ago, we brought baby Sheldon in, Piper and Rocky, like we always do, you know, on his Wednesday and Saturday's feedings. You know, if you've been following, he's a desert tortoise. He is. The mascot of tortoise land. After Big Max passed away, this little boy and his sister came into our world. Okay. And for a year and three months, he has been the champion, the underdog who can. We lost his sister in the summer of 22. These guys came in December of 21. Miracle babies found in the backyard. And it's a great video. And if you watch the video I put out this morning, this is the picture on the video. It's going to say heart to heart talk about baby Sheldon. So I hope you'll watch the video because the video is about 10 minutes long and it's going to say things that I don't have time to say on the live stream. What I will say is that this boy, you know, I haven't felt so close and so attached. Um, to a tortoise. I love all the tortoises. I'm very attached to many, right? And um, this boy, uh, Max, my 110 pound dude, he, he he and baby Sheldon share share that bond with me twice a week for so many months, right? We brought that boy in because he was compromised. That's that uh, Carrie, okay? Carrie's beautiful, and Carrie can go up on the on the mountain somewhere. And maybe you can add a little water because you hear the waterfall like need, yeah. needs a little water. So, so um, you know, twice a week for so many months, we brought this boy in because he was challenged. 
You know, he was challenged from the get go. If you watch, he, he was chronically challenged with gaining weight, with, you know, with, with, with survival. But he was a survivor and an underdog. And after we lost his sister, him and me had a conversation. It was like, dude, it's you and us, and you represent. And gosh darn it. So we never gave up on him. Never. Okay. And things were looking great. And this picture I took, this picture wasn't that long ago when he surpassed 101 grams for the first time. 101 grams, we threw the roof as static because the our goal was get him 100 grams, whatever it takes, no matter the expense. And then Dr. Shakti saying, and then at that point, he's maybe going to be good to go. Meaning we don't got to bring him to the vet anymore. We don't got to do the syringe feeding. So what happened about three weeks ago, I knew I was in trouble because I couldn't get him to eat anymore. No matter what I do, I could always get him to eat at least every other day. Whatever it's going to be, the boy's going to eat. What killed, what, killed, what killed his appetite and everything is that he's a desert tortoise and he wants to hibernate. And he's little and he can't. If you have a tortoise who's either small, malnourished, ill, and they're a hibernator, a big suggestion by Dr. Shakti in my experience, you don't let them hibernate because they might not come out of it. So even though he's here and he's in the nursery and he's in the heat, he still, his body was like hibernate. And Dr. Shakti said they have several other desert tortoises there that were struggling with the same situation, okay? So he took a turn about 20 days ago and then one eye started closing and I'm like, this is, this is trouble. So I brought him in on that Wednesday for the syringe feeding and we determined he needs to stay there. So for the next 12 days, he was in the hospital. And, you know, I never gave up on him. And I still didn't and wouldn't, and neither would Dr. Shackley. The difference is he's always pulled out of things. This wasn't looking good. Then his right eye closed. So now he had both eyes closed. And Dr. Shackley said it wasn't, it wasn't an eye infection. It was a symptom of a bigger, uh, a bigger problem, right? So he was in the hospital for 12 days, syringe fed, on antibiotics, they're trying to, you know, it's hard. He's little, right? It's remarkable what they've done. Ah, then last Sunday, I get a call saying it's time to come in and let our boy pass on from this life. There's a beautiful hummingbird there, so that's baby shallow right there, right? So it's time to let him grow. Said, yeah, let him pass because he's not enjoying life anymore. So the mascot of Taurus Rod, so popular, so many videos, so many rides with Cray Cray Rocky and Sweet Piper, so many trips. I'm so proud of him because he hung in there. And at the end, he didn't want to go, but it was time to go. I know that could not have done anything more for him. That I know. I'm not an expert, so of course I have questions about, did I do this right? Should I have done that? Maybe I shouldn't have fed him that, you know? Ultimately, I've done everything, and with all your help, we did everything. We couldn't have given him more love and support, and we lost him. So I haven't had a devastating loss. Here's the thing, too. For the last few weeks, I stopped answering emails. I stopped... Uh, comments. There's a million wonderful comments and emails. If you've sent me an email, uh, thank you. Okay. And, and if you made comments, just know that they're appreciated. And I didn't do any videos and tell you all because I couldn't. I just couldn't. Because I had a sinking feeling that this time there's not going to be like a short video saying, hey, you know, he weighs. No, because his weight just kept going down. By the time we had to put him down, he weighed 70. You know, after being 102. So what I want to say this is I'm so proud of this boy. He he gave me strength. He gave me hope. He gave me, and he did it. He kicked it as an underdog, you know, with a with a with a with a with a life condition that made it that much harder. So you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love him, and his legacy is going to live on, just like with Max, you know. And it lives on in the spirit of all these other tortoises here. Like who's that? That's Big Mama down there, right? That's Big Mama, right? Big Mama, huh? Big Mama laid an egg. Laid. How about Big Mama laid egg, right?
and it's spring everybody, right? So huh, she'll probably lay some more. They never seem to hatch, huh? Because the boys, the two red foot, three red foot boys, don't are, are more interested in each other than they are in her. Huh? Luck of the draw, I don't know, huh? Okay, so so you know, baby Sheldon lives on in all these guys, okay? So I hope you understand why I couldn't do any videos, why I couldn't uh, do the traveling to the vet. Of course, I would go and visit them. It was personal, you know? So please watch the video. It came out this morning. It has this picture. It says heart-to-heart -heart talk about baby Sheldon. I was able to come out here yesterday. I couldn't do it till till then because all I would do is cry. So I want to say thank you. His, and I just want to say this. It's really not about the money. I want to say if you if you wanted to help us, you know, he spent 12 days in the hospital. We have a GoFundMe set up just for baby Sheldon. We have a goal of five thousand dollars. We've had a couple of donations. I haven't I haven't pushed it. I haven't put it out there. We could use your support. Okay. All right. So if you want to consider it. You know, and it doesn't just go for his medical expenses. Of course, it goes for everybody. <laughs> it goes for everybody here, right? That's right. Pipe is giving uh, Punk back what he gives everybody. Smack, 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 right? Uh-huh. Piper will never hurt him, okay? Right? I'm Punk, right? How does it feel like, Punk? I'm sure. You know, you know who Punk loves to follow around the most? Shy Girl. How about that? Shy Girl. He's got a thing for Shy Girl. And it's the funniest thing to watch them Arr, go all the way around and smack her and try to bite their legs. They could care less, right? Okay. He also needs his beak trim. You see that? I see that. So if you have, if you have horses, huh? Oh, what well, just, you just go like this. Bam. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'm just really seeing there. Look at his beak, say. Eh? So tortoises' beaks will grow, you know, just kind of like a rodent or, or, you know, so, you know, and, 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 uh, in nature, like normally he would just like he would eat rocks and stuff and just eat stuff that would that would that would uh, take it down. OK, he still eats fine and stuff, but I can see. Hi, buddy. Right. I can see that it's time to file that down. OK, so if you have a tortoise or tortoises, um, you want to keep an eye on that beak. So we got our eye on it. We'll take care of it, everybody. OK, again, you know, to help from the GoFundMe and stuff. OK, now some fun stuff. So everybody, please watch the video, okay? Please watch that video, and and then I'll wait, wait, huh? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do some fun stuff. We'll go take a look at the babies. Thankfully, there's still there's 23 babies out of 24 babies, right? So we're doing really well there. Um, so please please watch this video. Now here's some fun stuff. Ready for this? Okay, remember you can always help us with PayPal with. Uh, GoFundMe, Baby Sheldon, and with Patreon. Here's a cool thing I want to say. Here's where Patreon really pays off. Let me turn this waterfall on a little bit. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Here's what. Here's what Patreon. Oh, who we got? Who we got? Everybody, look at the size of these guys. Okay. Look at this. Look at the growth. So Baby Green, who you don't see too much of anymore. Why? Because he joined the other box turtles. Guess what? Exciting news this spring. So a lot of good things are happening. We're building a, a box turtle habitat, like a habitat, okay? So they're going to have their own space, right? Complete with a water, like pool kind of thing and everything, okay? So because that's what they need, right? Right now, the best we can do is we take them out and we put them here. That is not done yet. I put some water things in here and that. We get them out in the sun, okay? But we're doing, we're doing, we're upgrading a lot of things. So coming, so look at the growth. This is what I want to say. First off, look at this. This is, this is Martha. You guys have been following, right? Let's see with the straight line. That's Martha. Look at that growth. Martha is actually a boy. We didn't know it when they were little. Okay. Look at that growth. Okay. On Martha. And phenomenal. Look at the growth on, on green, baby green. Marie Stubbs. Thank you again so much for your donation. Marie, but Marie was the first to donate to Sheldon's care. Marie, I don't know if you had a chance to watch the video this morning. We lost baby Sheldon. Devastating. Watch the video because I just talked about it and I'll just cry some more. But here's the thing. So proud of that boy. A year and three months. And that boy just kicked it, right? So proud. 
So thank you, Maria Stubbs. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, everybody who's on here. Thank you. So look at these guys, huge. So telling everybody, uh, coming soon, and you could help us by the Patreon and all that stuff. You know, help us, help us with some funds to to uh, to further expand. Okay, this is Zippa. Remember this Zippa, who's actually a girl. So now we have a mating pair. How about that? We got a boy and a girl. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we got sushi and wasabi that was named. Oh my gosh, right? Right? Thank you. Right? Right? Thank you. So the video, I, it's not edited heart to heart, but please watch it. It's not edited. There's no music. It's Kevin sitting out here telling you what happened and trying not to break down and cry. So these guys, so, these guys, oh, so here's what's really cool. So how can you, huh? That's right. Okay. What's the thing about box turtles that makes them so cool, everybody? This the fact that the cool. What is it? Hinges. That's right. See this. Watch this. So that brings up two turtle Tom. Everybody, if two turtle Tom's watching, if not, two turtle Tom is an expert in hinged tortoises of all different kinds. I'm not. You know, I'm not. But look at this. So a a, a box turtle. Who you got there? Let's see. Wait, lift up. Let me see the tail. Oh, that's Big Mama, right? Big Mama. So Big Mama, Big Mama. I said, it's like I said, she laid an egg. How about that, Manny? She laid an egg. One egg the other day. So these guys are hinged tortoise turtles. They're like a hybrid turtle tortoise, okay? And they can close up, okay? But they can't close up if they eat too good and get fat. There's the, the most popular short video from the tortoise guy is Ken Green, who is a, kind of an expert, and he's the one who found this dude for the first time in 30 years uh, because he raises bucks. So he's never had a baby. So this guy was tiny last year. Check out those videos. Uh, and, and he brought him here. I'm so honored. And... Uh, and uh, Ken talks about don't get your don't let your box turtle get fat because if they get fat they can't bring their limbs in close up like a clam and that's not good news if someone's looking to eat you right okay so here's something fun here's some really cool fun things if you guys have been watching the videos here and I hope you have not just the shorts right the videos you know that whistle song right I love it everybody loves it okay you know who did that this guy Billy Joseph and the Army of Love. Okay, they've been here multiple times doing our benefits. They play the music. So guess what? So Billy Joseph, who's world class. So we're going to drop uh, a video on um, Tuesday because that's when you remember when songs was in, we would drop on Tuesdays. Yeah. Albums would come out on Tuesdays, everything. So this Tuesday, guess what? Uh, Billy Joseph. A beautiful new song that will be played here on our, our videos. So a beautiful new song called Love. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the um, the Tiny Desk Contest. Have you heard of that? Suzanne's nodding. Yeah, NPR. It's awesome. It's on TV. Search NPR Tiny Desk. So every year they have this huge contest, right? And uh, and it gets submissions from all over the world. for, And they pick the best musical artists. So guess what? I got to shoot the, the video of Billy Joseph with... Some of his band members and beautiful song, beautiful violin work, beautiful drums. Okay. So guess what? If you're a Patreon member for a buck, you get videos that no one else gets. One buck. Okay. You get hats. You get t-shirts. You get mugs. And you get the satisfaction of knowing every dollar is tax deductible and every dollar goes in help. So you can become a Patreon member or you can go to the GoFundMe or PayPal. Okay, so Patreon members, so far, as little as a buck and you get live streams with me, guess what? You get to see uh, Billy Joseph's, the premiere of that video that he made, okay? So the rest of you are going to wait till next Tuesday, okay? So another reason to join. Billy's off the hook, love him to death, his music's great. Okay, a couple more things we're going to plow through. Okay, if you haven't seen it, Lumpy laid an egg, everybody. Want to see that egg, Suzanne? Let's see the egg. Oh, okay, who's this? Okay, we're gonna close the gate. It's a little too little to be out here. Who's this, everybody? This got some, yeah, some big pyramiding for sure. This is a critically endangered, and sadly, most tortoises, many tortoise species are endangered or critically endangered because mankind is not kind. Global warming, a lot of reasons, right? So look at this. You know who this is? This is beautiful Indian star. Boston accent, Da Star Junior. And he's Star Junior. Look at this amazing shell. We had double scrub day on Tuesday, everybody. So this is Indian Star Junior. Okay. Hi, honey. Right. And just warming up. Yeah. Okay. Been with us for about 15 years with brother who's bigger. So Indian Star Senior. Okay. 
Oh, oh big mamas. <laughs> They're all coming out. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, okay. And, that, you know, so many of them are up there. They're over there because the sun's just coming out. So, okay, the video on Lumpy, please check it out. Okay, it's still the featured video. And I wanted to ask you all, if you're watching, you know, we're going to come out now as super popular about Lumpy. What's Lumpy's story? Um, so we're going to feature, uh, you know, vi uh, videos of many, many, many of our tortoises here. Okay, you know, where they come from, how did we get them, right? All that sort of thing. All righty. Let's see what else I want to show you. One more thing. Okay, then, okay, so everything came to a halt. So here's the Lumpy video, okay, right? It's like m m the results of Lumpy's abuse leaves a surprise 17 years later. What's the surprise? It's in the incubator right over there. No way, way, yeah? So you got to watch the video. So Suzanne, Suzanne, we're not going to see the egg. Because why? You got to watch the video. And here's why it's important. The videos, the longer form videos, they count for YouTube, you know, as, as uh, because we hope to get monetized soon, right? You know, so in order to do that, um, the more people watch the long videos where we try to teach things and all that and have fun too, that counts towards watch time for YouTube. And, and that money coming in would really help us uh, here as well, okay? Okay, then the last thing here about it is, guess what? So. Okay, if you're watching, yeah, I, I have not returned emails. I have not returned comments, anything. Keep them coming. Appreciate it. We need help here, and I'm going to be frank and honest. I had no idea when last year when I started a nonprofit, right, Suzanne? No idea. I've been doing it for 20 years, but no idea what that really means and how I need a board of directors, and we have one, how uh, if money comes in, which is just starting fundraising, you need to fundraise, you need, I can't just uh, rehome tortoises on my own, it has to go through the nonprofit, which means there's paperwork, so who's writing the paperwork, we need grant proposals, I am definitely overwhelmed, so that's part of why it takes me for a long time to get back to comments and that, all the while trying to hold down full-time jobs until we can raise enough money here. So if you're out there and you're, and, and, and you, and you're good at like fundraising or you're good at uh, grant proposals and want to give it a try, we could use your help. The tortoiseguykevin at gmail.com or go to the website, the tortoiseguy.com and click contact us. Okay. So, and we're still, so now the big push spring's coming. I'm hoping next Sunday, if it's warm, we go to the park. As soon as it's warm enough, we are taking the tortoises and going to the park getting a bunch of volunteers okay so 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 check that out okay and we're going to be traveling to some cool places so this is purple everybody check out that video huh how many oh, yeah. okay we're almost done so this is purple and purple is an awesome box turtle no is an awesome russian turtle looking for a great home this is christina she's awesome okay and we've got responses from people in that so rehoming is key to the rest of this year. Why? We have 50 tortoises here. We need to rehome many, okay? Because they came here in re needing to be rescued. We rescued them, took care of them. Now we need to rehome them. Again, the tortoise guy, Kevin at gmail.com, back or the, the tortoise guy.com, contact us. All righty. So we got a new volunteer that started. Who's, who is it? Let's see. Is he here? I don't know. Nah, pitch is not here, but we got a new volunteer named Ellie. What's that? Oh, is that? There it is. Okay, As this dude is awesome. We got Manny. We got a lot of people. I could not, we could not do this here without these guys. Okay, because I would spend my day all day just taking care of them, let alone trying to do all the all the stuff, the grants. Okay, this is Ali. I want an intro because we put out a bunch of short videos this week, right? Every time we put a video with this young kid, boom, thousands of views in about ten seconds. So Manny, what does that say? They're saying they don't want to see old man Jones. <laughs> As much as they want to see the true, young true. kids. And we want to have a lot more young kids here because it's the young kids who's going to change the planet and fix global warming and all that and save the tortoises. Okay? So go, Ellie. So check out those. Mondays and Tuesdays, he comes for three hours. Loves the babies. He's taught them how to feed them and stuff. He's out of this world. So Tuesday, we double scrubbed everybody. Great. Okay? So what do I want to say, everybody? I don't know. Do we have a minute to take a look at the babies or no? It's Suzanne. Suzanne says no. <laughs> huh? So guess what? That's okay. So, you know, every huh? I know. We got, oh, we got so many, right? Okay. So don't forget everybody, right? Okay. We are all about, we are all about taking care. We are all about taking these guys in. 
right? Like baby green. This is what we do. People call. They're like, I got this tortoise. I found him. Look at him. He's flying. It's because he's cold. He's cold. Look at that. Woo. Look at those. Huh? Are you flying, dude? All right? Love these guys. Many of them are, are endangered. Going to be. They need our help. Here at Tortoise Land. If we can't take the tortoise in, I've talked. Here's the cool thing. I have potential homes for Compton, for Dumpster, for Leo the leopard tortoise. Oh, break my heart to see him go, but he needs to go to a really great home. People are reaching out, you know, saying, hey, I'm interested. We have a rehoming fee, so know that. It's, it's, not, it's not much at all. We're a nonprofit, so we, we have to, you know, do that. But it's not one, okay? And anyways, so tortoises come here. If if you have a tortoise and you're like, ah, I have to find them a home. It needs to be, a, of course, a special home, right? We don't just rehome to anybody. Then you can reach out. Even if you're in Ohio or you're wherever, right? Say, say hit us up because guess what? You can take video and pictures and we can post it like we did over there for Purple, okay? She came and uh, and we did a great video and we got a lot of interest. So even if you're in Ohio, we can do the same thing and help you find a great home okay so okay so everybody manny come over here hey rocky rocky won't come huh what do i do nothing i just want to say come here this is what get over here i just want to say this that like i said when i started the nonprofit, when i asked manny met him in the park last year i'm like hey would you have any interest in helping he's like heck yeah i love volunteering right i love doing volunteer work it helps me keep my sanity pretty much right keeps my feet grounded right and now his brother and, and sister-in-law come yeah you know how much work they can get done in three of them in, in an hour and a half or whatever take me about seven days so i'm really proud of here come here right we're proud of the office come here hi little boy right and zipper huh who's a who's a girl we thought was a boy so one last thing before we say goodbye everybody okay look come here pipe come here this is is look at manny huh how long has this been in the works Come on in, Suzanne. Oh, wow. It's been in the works since since May of last year, everybody, when we had our first fundraiser. Yeah. Right? Okay. So now it's still, it's still, but it's almost there, right? Look at we gotta, you know, we're gonna so people are gonna come in the gate right over there. And then when they come in, it's you're gonna you're gonna get a safari hat and stuff because you're entering a whole new world called Tortoise Land. Right? How cool is that? Right? We have our stuff that you could get on Patreon and soon you're gonna get on the website. You can buy it, and guess what? The proceeds go to where? Toys Land. None of it goes to me, everybody. You understand that? You know, praying for like like Toyota and stuff to to sponsor us or PetSmart and all that. Okay, so keep your head. So look at this cool place. We're gonna shoot videos here, everybody, right? Because why? We got all this equipment donated to us. Hey, do you have a drone? Do you have a drone that that you, that you're like ah? I got this great drone, but I don't use it. Can we use that? We can use How it. How cool, because you could be flying it while we're shooting. I know we got to wrap it up. So here's the office, everybody. No, the workshop, right? The workshop. Okay. All right, maybe a sneak peek at that egg. Ready, Suzanne? Because what's the video? What's the video called? Lumpy's abuse leaves big surprise 17 years later. All right? We ready? ready to shut the camera off? Okay. Thanks for watching. Get ready, okay? Okay, huh? They can't see oh, don't tell them they can't, but you, no, you, you got to go to see the video. Please watch the video this morning about Heart to Heart Talk to yeah, Baby Sheldon. Okay, there it is. It's going to be cool. Look at green screen, right, Manny? Oh, my God, right, Susan? Okay, you ready to see that? Okay, but in case you can't see it, you're going to have to go to the, what's the what's it called? Lumpy Abuse, 17 years later, leaves us a big surprise. Ready, Susan?